from the Edinburgh Fringe Festival. It's set list, stand up without a net. Comedians from around the world are coming on stage and they're gonna riff on topics we gave them. Zero preparation, making comedy out of thin air for your sadistic pleasure. Please welcome to the stage, brand new, never before, you set this for Sarah Pascoe. I think I went somewhere in Italy. <laughs> I definitely got off the plane. And when I came back, I smelt of pizza. But I can't tell you anything that happened. I mean, I had some souvenirs and I tried to put them together to see where I might have been. Some incense, um, a large stash of hardcore pornography. <laughs> and a hat. <laughs> that could have been anywhere in Italy. <laughs> I hate competitions. I think they ruin a lot of things that could just be fun, that you could just do for the enjoyment of it, because you care, because it stretches you, um, and because you get off on it. And then, Someone comes along and says, but are you the best at that? Because we've got a short list of the people we think are the best. And you're not on it. And then you think, well, I'm sure I'm good at something else. I'll go and see a soothsayer in, in, in Romford. And, um, and they say to you, the thing that you are best at is something that you've never tried. And I said, OK, carry on, what's that? And they said, you are amazing at fucking the dead. <laughs> I was like, is it, is it hard? They said, yes, the body is. It's called rigor mortis. <laughs> and you have to be very gentle or things snap off. And also because of decomposition, if you touch the body at the wrong place, it looks like it comes back to life. And it expunges all kinds of awful gases. So actually you're highly skilled. And I thought, well, this is fantastic, but how can I let everybody else know how brilliant I am? <laughs> I know what I'll do. I'll get every country in the world together and make some medals out of yoghurt pots and, um, and we'll have a race. Um, there's different categories. There's tenderness, there is um, speed to orgasm, um, and then there is who left the most dignified corpse. And that, uh, that does require some um, tact and, and some tenderness, weirdly. There's some crossover. Usually people are good at both those ones. And um, I was the only person who turned up, so I won. And that soothsayer was right. And now I'm world champion. Right. Call it what you like, but it's disappointing. <laughs> And it doesn't help that you emphasised it. I'm not talking about it anymore. It's, it's too upsetting. Um, now, even if you're homeless, sometimes people walk by and you don't like them. And why should, just because your home is the exterior parts of the world, <laughs> should you not enjoy the privileges that we all enjoy, like cellars, lofts, gardens, and trapdoors for enemies? If you give just four pounds a month, <laughs> I will build a small trapdoor next to every homeless person that sleeps in the same place for more than three days. That's my guarantee. The downside of this is evil homeless people. <laughs> because they will just be using it with everyone who doesn't buy the biggest shoe. Oh, didn't look me in the eye. Oh, think I'm a bin bag. <laughs> And then, 
there'll be a subterranean uh, race of the evil people that homeless people didn't like. They will gang together as subcultures tend to do and probably then fight back with the homeless people. It'll be an amazing battle for just four pounds a month. Thank you very much. Good night.